I'll never forget the first time I felt pitting edema. I had basically been putting my thumb into a patient's calf and leg and my thumb sunk in almost to that first joint right here. And I was just an intern at the time in my medical program and I was shocked by how severe the pitting was because when I removed my thumb there, the dent stayed as if I just punched it with a hammer into this person's leg. Now for thousands of years, there's been a diagnosis in traditional Chinese medicine called kidney chi or functional deficiency. And doctors have said this is often the reason for swelling in the lower half of the body, specifically the legs and the feet and the calves. But what actually is that? What vitamin deficiencies may be related and how do we treat it clinically? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book Master of the Day. So let's jump in. So for many people who have diabetes or some who have advanced heart failure and other medical conditions as well, edema can be something that is very, very common. I would say in the context of the modern person, the number one cause and kind of edema that you see typically is related to either chronic blood sugar issues, people who are diabetic, they begin getting a little bit of swelling around the ankles, typically on the medial side, the inside of your ankle or below the calf and down into the feet. Sometimes there's a little bit of fullness. If you look at your feet side by side, one will look a little more puffy. One, you can see more of the connective tissue and you can see the bones, etc. But also heart disease is a major killer of people in the United States and developed countries. And so in heart failure, it's almost like you could view it as the pump, the sub pump in the basement is not pumping all the water from the flood out. And so there's this pooling. It's pooling in the lower half because of gravity. Now, edema itself is the swelling of certain areas of the body due to these trapped fluids, which can be a result of medical conditions, can be a result of vitamin deficiencies, all kinds of things. But we'll discuss a couple of the root causes here today. Now, if you're curious, not just for the root cause of edema, but other symptoms you may be having, I put together a brand new root cause quiz. It's the first link right below this video. And it's a pretty in-depth 10-page handout on what your symptoms are and what physiological pathways or organ deficiencies it may be related to from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view. It's very unique. We've also taken the time to link to a whole bunch of other videos we've already shot on those topics or on those symptoms that can help you. Again, the whole thing's free. It's the first link right below this video. Now, what are some of the vitamin deficiencies that can be related to edema? A lot of what you might see are B vitamins. So for example, vitamin B1, thiamine. Thiamine deficiency from a medical point of view is known to cause beriberi, a condition that basically include symptoms like peripheral edema. Beriberi, not something commonly diagnosed in the modern world, definitely not in developed countries these days. But in terms of beriberi or thiamine deficiency in general, it can contribute to cardiovascular issues, which can in turn cause edema due to just the general poor heart function. So that's like that pump deficiency, the sub pump we talked about effect. Now another B vitamin is actually vitamin B6. So vitamin B6 deficiency has been linked to water retention and edema. An interesting study done in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that B6 supplementation can actually help reduce premenstrual edema in women. I found that pretty interesting in the research there. Now how does traditional Chinese medicine view edema. Most of the time, you will see edema in the patterns I talked about, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, diabetes. You'll see a diagnosis that your acupuncturist may give you called kidney chi deficiency. The kidney we say governs not just longevity and your overall battery charge, your vitality, but the kidney governs urinary functions, right? Like men with prostate issues, nighttime urination. You'll see it also governs genital urinary functions. So libido, erections, blood flow, both for women and for men. And on top of that, the kidney governs issues that involve the adrenals to a certain extent, but also the filtration, right? Related to bladder and prostate issues. So the kidney is one of those pumps in the body, a lot like the heart is, that deals with purification and circulation. When we say the kidneys are weak, it's almost like what I talked about the sub pump, your basement is flooding and a strong pump is pumping that water out so that the carpets can dry and all your furniture can dry. But when the pump is weak, it's just pumping out 75% of the water. So it's just still pooling a little bit. It's getting all moldy and nasty and smelly. You can think of it like that. So basically what you're seeing is that the diuretic effect of the kidneys is too weak to continue this flushing of the fluid, right? So you're seeing this gravity of the fluid and that's why when people lay down legs up at the end of the night, the elevation of the legs will help with the fluid itself. But in a healthy person, the body's been evolved for 
hundreds of thousands of years to fight gravity, to pump circulation back up towards the heart, away from the heart, up, down, left, right. But when it's compromised, that's when you start to see it pull, typically in the lower extremities. There's an interesting study done on one famous formula called Shin Chi Wan, kidney chi pill. Now this formula has been well studied and researched all over Japan and Korea and China, and in the US even. And they found that a study done in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology found that Shin Chi Wan has significant diuretic effects. It actually increases urine output and reduces water retention in animal models, so that supports its use in treating edema. That's a bit about edema and some of the vitamins and nutrients that are related to it. Now again, if you guys want to work with me privately one-on-one -on -one in my private practice in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, just go to dralexheim.com forward slash clinic or go to the link right below. My phone number for the clinic is right below as well. I've also, don't forget, have that root cause quiz we've put together for you. This little card here will direct you right towards that. And I have another great video on this topic right up here.